hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in uh, today's video we will be learning about the shape merge compound object in 3d studio max so first thing what we need for the shape merge is one 3d object and at least one 2d object so first of all i'll create one box here that is going to be my 3d object like this and afterwards we'll have to create some 2d objects so that we can merge the 2d object onto this 3d object so i'll take the rectangle tool and here i have created one rectangle you can even take multiple shapes so let's try to create um, copies of this and I'll create one more copy of this so that I can place it down here and let's make some adjustment here somewhat like this I'll create one more copy basically I'm looking for a wardrobe design so accordingly I'll have to create the shapes here and just increase the length here a little bit and we'll have to adjust the width as well so here we are almost done with the creation of 2d and 3d objects that is going to be the step number one now once we have created these uh, shapes afterwards what we have to do is we have to select all these 2d shape and we have to shift them slightly above this uh, 3d object so that these 2d shapes are visible as you can see in the perspective viewport so let me hide the grid and here we have this 3d box as well as the 2d objects clearly visible so let me add a little more height to this box and I'll push it back slight like this so we have this uh, setup ready I'll just change the color of these shape to white so that it stands out on this 3d object so once we are done with the creation of 2d and 3d objects the next step is to select the 3d object like this and in the command panel we have uh, compound objects here in the compound object we have to select shape merge like this then uh, the name of this 3d object is going to appear in the operand list here in the parameters afterwards we have to click on pick shape and start clicking these 2d shapes one after another so each and every shape is listed in the in the operand list put off the pick shape come out of this command now let's shift the box slightly towards the left now see it seems as if nothing happened but actually uh, when I press F4 you will notice that the copy of the 2d shape is now attached with the 3d object now next step is going to be selecting the new compound object which we have just created and then go to the modifiers list like this then click on the mesh editing inside this you will get one option that is face extrude so just click on the face extrude like this and you have these parameters so now you have an option as amount right now the value is zero and if you give a positive value like if it is more than zero it is going to extrude like this as you can see it's happening but since I'm going to create one wardrobe so I'll I want this thing to get inside so I'll rather give a negative value so that it starts getting inside like this uh, we can press F3 
so that we can see how deep it's going and like this we can set once again I'll press F3 so this is what we have created using the shape merge now these uh, shapes which are kept on the right side these are connected with the new 3d object so whenever I make any kind of modification in this automatically the final object is updated suppose you make any kind of modification in any of these 2d shapes that will be reflected in the final 3d so let's change the uh, length and width of this one and you'll notice that the things are getting updated in the 3d so that is how you can use the shape merge now once you're done with this you can delete the 2d shapes and you have this object uh, wardrobe or a kind of storage unit in 3d studio max let's see one more example uh, this time i'm going to create one cylinder uh, let's add a few more side segments so that it becomes perfect round and more segments and the height I'm adding now suppose you want to write something on this for that you can use the shape merge so this is my cylinder uh, here so here I, so here I have my cylinder I'll just take the text tool and just write something over here let's uh, reduce the size of the text so that it fits on the cylinder and then we'll need to place it somewhere outside the cylinder like this and here we have the text and the cylinder I'll just paint the text to white so that it's visible so this is what we have right now so we'll have to select the 3d object then we'll go to the coupon object shape merge and pick shape hit the text and just close the close this and just shift this cylinder afterwards we have to click on modifiers mesh editing and we have this that is the face extrude just click on that and increase them out and you'll find the text projecting outside of the cylinder like this now in this you've got an option that is called scale so if you want a tapering effect for that you can use the scale just reduce the scale and see how the text is tapered and you can even engrave the text by giving a negative value somewhat like this let's give it a positive value so that it is embossed on the object like this now in case you uh, make any kind of modification in the text here that is going to be reflected on the final object so I'll select the text and let's change the font from here like uh, let's take this font and you can see the final object is updated with the new font now once we are done with this we can delete the 2d object and you can see the 2d text has become 3d on this it is now merged with the 3d object so that is how we use the shape merge in 3d studio max so thanks for watching